Hi you guys, time for an update. We haven't been on YouTube for a couple weeks. I want to update all you guys what's going on. Still getting lots of messages. Um, mostly I think from, oh, there's a lot of confusion from the people that don't follow us very closely. But if you're subscribed to the channel or if you're just paying attention to our videos, you kind of have an idea of what's going on and what we're going through. So, since I retired from work two months ago, it has been very hectic, very stressful. And we've consolidated and actually moved all of our animals out. So in this entire room, both rooms, front and back, there's only six snakes in here. If you remember our office where we had all the animal plastics cages, we sold this whole wall of melamine. It's already been sold and gone. We replaced, uh, we brought in the animal plastics cages to consolidate, took up uh, space there. We brought in all of our baby racks, and so this wall is now complete. Although there's nothing in it, it's, it's shut down. Uh, all these empty, they were full. Many, many times they've been full, cleared out, and full and cleared out. But right now, cleared out, empty. The exos on the top are also empty, and we powered down our V70 rack. So it's empty, obviously. And all of these are empty except for these two trios of pythons here, which are gonna stay behind. My family is gonna maintain those animals for me. And I might actually even be able to, if I get lucky, uh, talk them through some pairings. And who knows, it might even be lucky enough to get some eggs at some point. So, my visa has been issued. We are out of here next week, you guys. So, it has been super hectic, but things are getting much more better more clear, more focused, and I want to go over with you guys some of the uh, visa procedures. It was super complicated, oh my goodness, but uh, we got through that, and as promised before, I was going to tell you guys kind of what that entails, so we're going to do that in today's video, and you may be wondering where did all the animals go. Uh, obviously, we had a lot of surplus, and we had a big personal collection of colubrids as well, uh, and green tree pythons and other animals. So we have sold um, basically all of our boa and python collection. I have moved my green tree python adults to a close friend of mine on breeding loan and he also has our clutch of uh, Ygao Biak uh, cross babies. So he's going to be working with those and selling those at some point. Uh, I'm just leaving that up to him. Uh, I trust him enough to where I'm giving him like full freedom to do whatever it is that he wants to do. So breeding loans and all those sorts of things, um, having animals on consignment, it almost never works out. Uh, but if you pick the right people, it'll work out. So you hardly ever hear about the successful stories. You only hear about the nightmares. And um, I'm not worried about this one at all. So I picked a really good person for that, uh, a longtime friend of mine. So that's all good. And we shipped 125 pounds of colubrid snakes to Malaysia. So we have a facility out there. It's a project that we've been working on for a very long time. Our animals are already out there. They're already feeding and acclimated. Um, and it wasn't a big deal because a lot of times, you know, imported animals are, are wild caught. And so my animals were my animals. So all they did was take a take a flight overseas and they just went right into another facility so that is all good um, that's a whole nother side project that I will share with you guys later um, and that is about it as far as that sort of stuff is going on I just wanted to kind of update you guys on that I'm still getting lots of messages and lots of emails um, a lot of people are asking about Black Friday green tree python leftovers and all that stuff that stuff is all gone that was gone sold within 45 minutes everything was gone so we've done a really really good job i have never gone through this before i have never had to move like this i've never moved overseas before and um, it has just been it's been a really wild ride so far because there's so many things you have to think of um, you know, sit down and think for a second, you guys, you have a big collection of animals and you're going to move to another country. What do you do? So anyway, um, I'm always very calculated on all the things that I do. 
Um, I consider myself somewhat intelligent most of the time. So this has been something we've been working on and planning for a long time. So uh, let's go inside. I'm going to show you guys uh, what this visa entailed and then uh, give you guys kind of a bigger picture of what's yet to come. Let's go talk about that. All right. So getting a visa. This was very tricky for me. Apple is a dual citizen. So she's flying on her Thai passport. So for her, it's pretty simple. Um, she's allowed to go back to her home country, so it's not that big of a deal. For me, I'm a foreigner. So there's only so many types of visas that Thailand is allowing in. And for, for the majority of the time, tourist visas were not being issued. Um, but of course, I didn't want a tourist visa. I wanted something long term. So I applied for a one year retirement visa. That was quite complicated. There were many, many documents that I had to provide. I had to provide uh, proof of finances that I had uh, a considerable amount of money in the bank. So I had to do that. Um, criminal background, can't have any convictions, any criminal convictions in your background. So that took a while. I had to go get live scanned, um, wait for the results, come back from that. And then I had to uh, send again for an actual certified letter that said that I was um, that I was checked and that I have no criminal convictions. So uh, we did that and um, we had to purchase plane tickets and we had to purchase 15 days in a government approved um, quarantine hotel. So what that means is as soon as we land, we are escorted immediately from the airport to our quarantine hotel. Um, now that's something that we have to pay for ourselves out of our own pocket and you can go high end, you can go kind of low to middle and basically it provides three meals a day and they give you two COVID tests throughout the 15 day period and after I think on the fifth day they give you your first COVID test and after that you're allowed 45 minutes to one hour each day outside. It's like rec time. Uh, you're allowed to go out by the pool. The pools are closed, all of them. It's a government regulation, so you can't go swimming in the pool, but you can go outside and get some fresh air. Our room is supposed to have a balcony with the door uh, unlocked and accessible so we can go outside uh, as much as we want onto the balcony. So that will help a little bit. But it's basically like doing a 15-day jail sentence. We're confined to the room. That's it. They provide three meals a day, uh, they knock on the door, and your food is left outside your door. And, and you know, that's pretty much it. So you're kind of reliant on the hotel to, uh, to take care of you during that period of time. There's a nurse that's assigned. You will be taking your temperature, your body temperature, twice a day. And you either submit the temperature by app or the nurse comes and does it at your door. So it is going to be quite interesting. Um, for us, 15 days is, is worth it because once we're free and clear, we're out of there and we're free to roam about the country. And so that's obviously the bigger picture for us. Um, I had to get a one year health insurance plan um, to cover that one year retirement period of time. And so I got one for myself and I got one for Apple also, being that Apple's Thai citizen, Thai national, she's entitled to other benefits. Um, but anyway, I wanted her to have the same coverage that I did. And we also had to have um, COVID coverage. So it's like, it's insurance based, but it's a separate um, certificate that, uh, that certifies you. It's a plan, a program, and it covers you in case you get COVID over there. So they're real strict about that. And what else was there? I had to get um, medically cleared from my doctor that I don't have um, five or six different diseases like tuberculosis and cephalitis and, and that sort of thing. HIV, I think, was one of them. Um, and then I had to prove that I had a monthly uh, income of some sort. So obviously, being a retiree, uh, I have a monthly pension. So um, just having to get all of these documents together and submit. Uh, I did that on November 11th and they contacted me on November 13th and asked me for some more supporting documents. 
and it's supposed to take three weeks. I don't know, for some reason it took, you know, like three weeks gone by, I started emailing the embassy. I think I probably talked to like, I'm assuming that I spoke to like six to eight different anonymous people through email and uh, some would answer very ambiguously to where you could tell they weren't actually looking at your specific file. They would just, you would ask a question, they would give you a standard answer and it wouldn't really answer your question. So uh, it was very difficult, but uh, eventually with enough persistence, we finally got through the process. If I did not inquire and send all of those emails, I'm not sure what would have happened. I don't know if my file would have just sat or what, I have no idea, but I was pretty persistent and I was real cautious about being a pain in the butt to those guys. So anyway, um, and then we mailed, mailed our passport and original documents out and it was a $200 fee. They sent back my passport and the visa stamp is inside. And of course there's an additional certificate of entry which the Thai government has to approve your entry into the country. So uh, that was done simultaneously for me and then we're waiting on Apple's. Her process is separate but she also needs the certificate of entry. So we're hoping to have that on Monday morning. Uh, and then the last thing that we, that is somewhat out of our control is we each need a negative COVID test, a PCR test, which we have scheduled two. We scheduled two on Monday because in case one lab flakes, loses the sample, or just doesn't get to us back in the agreed upon time and we don't have the results, we're doing two different labs and of course we're paying out of pocket for that. So it is very, very complicated and if you combine all of that with my export of getting my animals to where they needed to go safely and it's and selling my surplus animals and everything else, it has been amazing, it is crazy. Uh, and then packing, you know, I've, uh, I've upgraded all my electronics. Uh, phone, laptop, GoPros, uh, memory cards, on and on and on. So it's been quite an expensive last few weeks, but, uh, but we're getting through it and I feel pretty confident. We're already packed, everything's good to go. Um, and I'm really proud of, proud of myself, I'm proud of us for being able to get to this point because now, um, you know, we have like four days left and everything is pretty free and clear. It's just those COVID tests, getting the results back. And beyond that, we have all of our documents in order and hopefully everything goes without a hitch. And probably the next video that you guys see me in, see us in, will be during quarantine. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with us. You'll be able to see uh, as much as that process as I, that they'll allow me to film uh, in the airport, I'm not sure. But, um, but you guys are coming along the journey with us. Hope you guys enjoy it. And of course, we're getting back to our house. We're getting back to herping. Uh, I'm buying myself a retirement present uh, as soon as I'm free from quarantine. So you guys won't want to miss that. That's going to be pretty cool. So that's about all I can think of. I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed on what we're up to. It's been a couple weeks since we did a video. Once we're out of here, um, I plan on do, doing a regularly scheduled uh, upload video upload. We're going to keep you guys uh, totally informed, let you guys know what's going on. The facility, uh, we will bring that to you guys when we're able to get to the facility because of course borders all over the place are closed. So we're going to Thailand, the animals are in Malaysia, and DM Exotics is definitely not done. Um, all we're doing is just sort of rising above and, uh, and getting another step higher. I don't know how much higher we can go, but uh, we're definitely adding the word international behind our brand and uh, there's big things to come. I'm pretty excited about it. Have no animals here right now and I'm anxious to get back into it. Uh, it's just, it's in my blood and I want to get to breeding and, uh, and I want to show you guys. And this channel too. I want to put a lot of effort into this channel and uh, that's about it you guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the delay in the, the lack of uploads and that's about it. Wish Apple and I luck. We'll see you in quarantine. Thank you for watching. See ya.